Hotels.ng is an online hotel booking portal. And right now we are the biggest online hotel booking portal in Nigeria. We, our technology is a little bit different from that that is used in, by, by the major traveling sites like booking.com or so on, in that we often have to back up our bookings using phone or SMS or WhatsApp. So when, when a booking arrives on our platform, it does not always, we do not always have a direct software connection to the hotel. So maybe it will fall back and then now uh, become a phone booking that will take maybe 10, 15 minutes to fulfill. So initially, many of those things, we did not see them. We did not know we'd need to do it a certain way. We basically started the platform and then somebody would book, we'd, we'd meet a particular problem, then we'd rush, you know, get develop it, get it done, release it, and then it would start working. So our current platform is basically the evolution of everything that we have learned. So it was, it was influenced and guided by the problems that we had to solve along the way. I think we are a little bit lucky in that the industry that we are in is something that people very readily and easily understand. From the very first day we went online, people already started booking the hotels. We did not have to really go out and teach them how to book hotels. A lot of people knew this already from other countries. And the hotel managers also have been running such a system locally. So taxi drivers would pick up people, bring people to their hotels, and they'd pay them some kind of commission. So they already knew about commission systems and all that. So all we basically had to go and explain to them, we are going to deliver you more customers, and in exchange for that, you pay us a commission. And they said, fine, well, you know, no problem. If you can do that, go ahead. And we would actually do it. And with the same thing with the customers. We, we just said, okay, you can now book your hotels online. And they said, that's a very nice service. Let me try it. And it works. So I think the early days for us were not as difficult as the early days from some other business because we are actually in a market where there is demand, but nobody wanted to spend that money and go through that effort of actually going out to get all those hotels. I would say a lot of people do not... the they don't the, the things that are holding people back i think at the moment are that they do not have an effective way of distributing their ideas so if if they actually develop something and it's a working software project it the sales process is extremely expensive in nigeria because of how disconnected all the towns are from each other and how you would go about making sales so effective so effective software projects that require sales are a bit too difficult to do, actually. And when it comes to being able to distribute it on a global scale and, and reaching other people, it's difficult for an average Nigerian developer to compete with a developer in Romania or, or in the US because there are some advantages that some disadvantages that they have got here. They don't have steady light, they don't have good internet. So just projects that are only software based they already start off at a disadvantage. So it becomes only the very best that can actually break out. Those that are, you know, better than average have got competition that are also, a lot of competition that are also better than average, but have got other advantages that they don't have, like just having uh, constant electricity or having uh, walking internet. I think there are options available, but they are definitely much worse than the options that are available in other in other continents i'd say the the the, uh, the availability of finance for african startups is quite limited um, every now and then there are companies that come in and throw a lot of money around and then they leave and then in those spells in between there's just not a lot of capital available and that's why i think um that, that that's that's what ties into my earlier question which is basically that companies that do not operate at losses, have the ability to kind of wait out the long periods between when companies are available that are actually putting money in Africa. Um, because that, that's how it looks like. There are companies that would, um, for a long time, there'll be no finance available. And then the comp some few companies will come in, have a lot of finance available, and then they'll go again after they have done their investments in Africa. So um, there is money, but it, it's seasonal.